What's going on, everybody? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys the finale for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually finished up collecting everything. All the seashells, all the piece of heart, and the figurines. So now, in this episode, we're going to finish up the game by heading up and waking the windfish. The first order of business, we want to head to the Yukuku Prairie and go back to Mabe Village because there is actually something we got to do in there. One last thing before we start heading over there. This is actually like a mandatory thing unless you just get lucky while waking... Well, try... Unless you get lucky trying to wake the windfish. But... We're going to head down here all the way back to the library. As you guys remember, what was it, the first episode, I think? We read the books in the library, and it gave us hints and all that. But if you come over here, there was one book that we actually haven't read. And it had something to do with the end of the game. So it had, like, a really dark, deep secrets in it. And it's this book over here, this black one, that stands out from the rest. It says, Dark Secrets and Mysteries of the Kohonwit. Do you really want to read it? Yes, we do. Round and round, the, pa the passageways of the egg. And it tells us a secret path. So it's right, forward right forward forward left left forward <laughs> so we got to remember that hmm, this book reeks of secrets so we have to actually have to remember that path in order to make our way through the windfish's egg so with that said we're going to start making our way up to the windfish's eggs playing the eight instruments of the sirens to awaken this fish but let's go get it we're going to head over to dompe shack to get it started and actually start making our way in here but yeah guys we're finishing up this playthrough. I'm so excited, man. Like, this game has been phenomenal. Nothing but amazing. Every, every episode I've played, I've been loving it. Having so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it, too. We're going to make our way this way and head up the only pathway that we haven't uh, made our way up yet. And it's right here. So once we start walking this way, our boy Mr. Al comes back out. Let's see what he's got to say. What do you got to say, punk? What's your problem? Let me go up there. Hoot, the windfish sleeps long and dreamingly in the egg above. When you play the eight instruments of the sirens in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Oh no, here we go! Let's get it, baby! Let's go! Get up there, Link. Can we run up there with the Pegasus boots? We can. Look at us storming up there. And guys, look at this! Look at this, guys! We're at the top of the island, all we have to do is play the instruments of the siren, and in order to do that, just switch to Marin's song, Ballad of the Windfish, and you start playing this. Let's get it. Woo! <laughs> Let's go, dude. I'm hyped for the finale. Woo! Look at this. All eight instruments we collected throughout the whole game, all eight dungeons. Now we're jamming out 100% at this game. All we gotta do is defeat the windfish and wake up. The windfish. <laughs> we don't actually defeat the windfish. It's something else. I won't tell you guys though. They actually play this song for like a little bit longer. Like I think it should stop like right now, but they I think they overdo it a little bit with the music. Like it just keeps going for a little bit. So we're just gonna jam here, get a little boogie going, do our finale dance. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. Oh, maybe we should have switched to the green tunic. We could have switched back to the green tunic just for, like, nostalgia reasons. Reasons, but, you know, I'd rather have the double defense. <laughs> but there we go. The eight instruments play. The egg starts to shake. And what happens next? What's going on? It cracks open, and we can actually make our way inside of it, which is awesome. So that that is exactly what we are going to do right now. But before we even start, we got the little Mr. Owl back here. <laughs> what you got, fool? The time has come. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoot, hoot. Dude, we already know that. There's a big hole in the egg. What else are we supposed to do? <laughs> now that we made it into the windfish's egg, we can actually move on. And we have to remember that path that we read inside the book. So if I do remember correctly, we are going to fall down here, first of all. Every, every single one's like that. But now we're going to head to the right here. I think it was right up, right again. It was right up, right. And then double up, I believe. Yeah, double up. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, I took a good look at it. Don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna go up. We're gonna go up again. And then double left up again. Right? Right? I think I'm right. But yeah, you can easily get lost in here if you don't remember it. Like, write it down or something. It's pretty simple. And then we can head up. Hopefully, this is the end right here. Did we do it? Let's go. That's how you know we did it. It leads to this giant hole. We're going to hop down inside of it. It's kind of like the Lost Woods. If you mess up, you go back to the beginning. But we make our way down into this spot right here. We were born of nightmares. To take over this world, we made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, the island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. 
but you had to come here and disrupt our plans. Hee <laughs> hee, you can never defeat us. Let's rumble. So here we go, guys. Fighting off against the final boss, which is the Nightmares. And it's just like a bunch of, like, it's like a spirit or something that keeps changing forms and all that. But here we go. We're going to start off. He's just a little ball. So <laughs> he actually turned into something so cool. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It is awesome. But look at this thing. It's like screeching and yelling, coming after us. We're actually going to switch out to our magic powder right off the bat. Because this is his first phase. And we actually need to get him with our magic powder. What's good? Get magic powder on pump. Because our sword will not do much to him right now. We're just going to hit him with our magic powder real quick. What you want? Get out my face. Get out my face. Ah! I said get out my face. <laughs> what you want? Get out of here. He's hopping around. You know, he's doing work on me. What you want? There you go. Get out of here. Take him out of his first phase. Now he's going to move into something else. What is he going to turn into? Oh, he's going to turn into this ball or like ghost looking thing. He's going to shoot these fire things at us. And what we have to do is swing your sword and kind of play like ping pong with him. Like, what's good? Slap it back at him. Say night night. <laughs> Let's go. What you want? Go ahead. Throw another one. Oh, no. He threw his uh, special one that you can't get touched by. So what I like to have out is rock's feather in case he throws that one. So we can jump around and dodge it. Go ahead, throw your normal one. What you want? Wait. What? That miss? It went right under his arms. What you want, fool? Wait. Get out of here. We need one more hit in order to finish off this phase right here. There's actually a decent amount of phases here. Wow, we swung a miss. I thought we hit it. We're like, yay. <laughs> Go ahead, throw it. Go ahead, throw it. Yay. Oh, no. He threw the other one. Should have been paying attention more. What you want, fool? Come on, throw it at me. Yay. I jumped over that. Get out of my face. <laughs> Come on, what you want? Is this the one? Yeah, it is. There we go. Hit him one last time. Oh, no. I guess we got to go four times. Yeet. Oh, no. I thought it was going to be the other one for some reason. Come on, throw it. Throw it at me. Yeet. There we go. Finish off that face. He has a lot of phases, and this is a pretty cool boss fight. Let's get it. The final boss fight. Here we are. But he's going to turn into Moldorm, as you guys remember this guy from, like, our first dungeon. And we're actually going to slap on him real quick. Charge up our spin attack. Miss that, but we'll swing again, hit that. He's got one more hit. We gotta charge up a spin deck. He's cooking. He is cooking right now. Oh my god, we just missed. There we go. Got that one. Finish off that phase. Let's get it. This boss fight is awesome. But now, what is he going to do? Oh my god, he's gonna turn into like some Ganon reincarnation, it looks like, and spin this. We're gonna have to dodge all these fire bats. The fire keys, sorry. <laughs> he's gonna throw them all at us. Look at this. This was the cool part I was talking about. This is crazy. Then look at this, he's gonna throw that at us. Look at him, he's throwing his spear at us. We're gonna start whooping on him. What you want, fool? What you want? What you want? Get out of my face. What are you gonna do? Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Jump that. He's gonna start coming after us. We're gonna start swinging at him. We're not doing anything. Wait a minute. Do I have to bring out a certain item? Let me see. Let me see. We got a boomerang. Do I have to boomerang him up? I don't know. I forget. I forget. But we're just going to keep going after him. I think we got to keep dodging the shots and all that in order to do things. What's this fool want? What you want? Actually, what we want to do is actually take a Pegasus boot run right into him. So if we can get a chance, we can actually stab him right in the stomach with this. But we got to dodge all this once again. Get out of my face. Dip, sucker. Dip. What you want? Get out of here. What? What? Go ahead. Throw that at me. I'm going to be over here. And we're going to dodge this. Do a Pegasus boot run right through him. Do another one. Get him, get him. There we go. Double Pegasus Brute Run will take him out, and then we'll go into his next phase. And wow, we actually took a lot of hearts there. But we're actually going to pull out our boomerang. Do we have a boomerang? Yeah, we already have it. And this is how we, we hit this guy. Look at this. We just trapped him up against the wall, whooped on him real quick. That's too funny. Uh-oh. What happened? Music died out. We're going into a whole new phase. We are bringing out our bow this time. Because as you can see, he has an eye right there. Which he's going to open up very soon. And once he opens it up, we start ripping shots in there. You can get two at a time. And once he comes close to clamp you, just jump at the right time. He'll bounce back and you'll be fine. It's just as simple as that. You grind him. But this boss fight's awesome. Considering it takes like a little bit more than like the other boss fights. Actually, a lot, it's a lot longer. But I think it's so cool how they made this final boss fight have all different phases. But he's going to start speeding up just a little bit. And we're just going to rip him up real quick. I think he needs one or two more hits. What you want? Get out of here. There we go. Finishing off that phase, and is that the final phase? The island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world! <laughs> but yes, that is the final phase, and we have defeated the nightmare and the final boss. Let's get it. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Leads to a nice stairwell. 
stairway and the owl says link you have beaten all the nightmares climb the stairs before you let's go we're climbing them we did it guys <laughs> let's get it let's go now we got this nice little loading screen <laughs> and look at this we start making our way to like outer space isn't that crazy actually it's not outer space because we are a dream guys we're just a dream to the wind fish and our boy mr owl comes down one last time for us what's he gotta say who Young lad, I mean Link, the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. As a part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his, of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Then you, Link, came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage. I knew that you could turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Link. My work here is done. The Windfish will wake soon. Goodbye, Hoot. Bye, Mr. Owl. <laughs> He's the guy from the Tootsie Pop commercials. <laughs> but look at it! Our boy finally shows himself. This is the windfish, guys! It's a whale! I am the windfish! Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared. It was surrounded by an island with people, animals, an entire world. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dost awaken, Koholint will be gone. Only the memory of the dreamland will exist in the waking world. Someday, thou may recall this island. That memory makes the dream world real. Come, Link. Let us awaken together. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. Uh-oh. Bye-bye, Koholan Island. It was all a dream to the windfish. They were right. But still, Link's, Link's in his slumber, too. Let's go. We are playing the eight instruments of the siren to awaken the windfish and Link to finally get out of this nightmare, this dream. And this is like a little cutscene to show everything is disappearing. But that's crazy how they made this game like a dream. Like, isn't that pretty cool? And look, it's all of our memories. There's, there's, what was his name? I forget. Marin? No. It might have been Marin. No, Ma that's Marin. <laughs> I forget. It was bootlegged Mario with the mushroom. But here we go. There goes the island. The island is now disappearing. No! It was Taryn. The guy's name's Taryn. <laughs> Figured out. But the island does disappear as it was just a dream to Link and the Windfish. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this. Our water pushes us up. And as you guys do recall, in the first episode, we started off with a cutscene of Link crashing into the island. Well, the island. <laughs> And so now it is going to end with this cutscene. I like the whole art style for this, these cutscenes too. And look, there's Link after his boat crashed from the lightning in the beginning, just laying there. He's been asleep all this time and he's finally awakening up. You can hear the song by Marin, the Ballad of the Windfish. And he finally wakes up. Look, it's our boy, the windfish! <laughs> Dude, he's enormous. Like, you saw he was gonna be a little fish. He's a giant whale. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. I like that cutscene. <laughs> But guys, that is going to be it for the finale. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.